time for us to go through how to get the frigates. Before you start this, you will need to have a freighter, and I will leave a link in the pinned comment to the playlist that has gotten to gotten us to the point that we're at now. There are five different types of frigates, five different classes. I'm going to be able to show you four here because I don't use one of them. One of them is the support class, which reduces fuel. Fuel is like ten a penny, so it's really not too much of an issue to get. So we have the Explorer, which has this kind of weird-looking circular shape at the front. We have the Miner, which is kind of blocky and square, which you can see there. We have the combat ship, which kind of has fins on it. I feel like that's the best way to describe it. It kind of looks finned, a little bit more angular. And then you have the merchant ship, which looks kind of all sleek and posh-like. So those are the four different ships. Now, the way that we get them to spawn in, and I'm going to reload here just so you guys can see them, see this happen. Again, so we freshly reloaded the system, and realistically speaking, all you need to do to get frigates to spawn in general is to either be near a planet or near the space station inside of your system, and you'll find that they pretty much just spawn on you. This seems to happen maybe once in each system, but you can just reload and have this happen fairly reliably. It's real easy to do. Now, in terms of recruiting one, all we need to do is we need to just ride on over, and we'll find that we get the communication down at the bottom there. Now, I need two combat ships, so I might as well recruit one with you guys as we show how this works. So we can go on in here, and now we can inspect the frigate. So there are a few things we're going to want to look at when we get this up. Now this is an A-class. I find A-classes, although this is, an, this is a low-level A-class. This is real strange to actually see. But let's just go through the things we see. So obviously we see the class here. Now the class, realistically speaking, when you're recruiting, doesn't matter as much as you might think. Uh, it does give it bonus stats, but the class will rise as the frigate rises in level, and that happens as it does more and more expeditions. The final level up is like 55 expeditions. Um, there's going to be a link to the wiki in the description so you guys can see all of the different tables and stuff. It can be a little bit crazy to try and work it out. A base level frigate is going to be lower than four expeditions. And realistically, what you're looking for is a base level frigate with 20 in its primary stats. So you can see here, this is a combat ship. Its primary stat is 20, but this is not a base level ship. So the, you might want to re-roll this one. Or if you like how it looks, like you decide, well, you know what, it's got 20, that is enough. Um, that is going to get you like the first star in the expeditions. We'll talk about that later on. Um, and it does have a nice little mix of other stuff. So this could be good on some other types of missions. And it does have all blue um, advantages here. So you'll see, like, uh, all of them start with one in their com in their specialization. So the combat one is going to start with combat specialist. And the mining is going to start with mining specialist. And then these will just be extras. I mean, this one's a little bit all over the place. This one's got a bit of exploration trade in industry. So it's kind of a bit of a, a jack-of-all-trades, master of none type ship. So maybe we'll, we'll re-roll and we'll try one of these others that has popped up. Okay then, so I've decided that none of these ships that I can see here are ones that I want to purchase. We could have gone for that A-class, but just out of the uh, ability to demonstrate this to you guys, we're just going to reload the area, and these will respawn in slightly differently. Okay, so here's our second set. Now what you'll generally find is they'll be pretty uniform in their colouring, so if you want all of your frigates to match, it's a good idea to just kind of re-roll this in the same system. I wasn't too picky about it, I just allowed mine to be uh, multiple different colours. Okay then, so I found one I'm probably going to take just because it's almost there. 19 is a pretty good number, and it's one mission away, so at four expeditions it's going to level up. And it'll get plus one to each of its stats, meaning this will be 20 combat in one mission, and I'm pretty happy with that. If you're looking for the perfect rolls, then you want 20 in your, in your primary stat. Obviously we have all of the different ones that I showed you earlier. Um, I can show you guys a support class one now. So, just so you can see what a support class looks like, all it's realistically going to do is reduce the expedition fuel cost by 15. We're going to look at this in a bit, but because we can get so much fuel, I just don't feel the need, and it has, like, really just kind of minor basic stats. Once you've gotten yourself a few frigates that you're happy with, you're going to want to return to your bridge. Now, there are a few things that we need to make sure that we have done before we can actually start doing things. Firstly, you're going to want to make sure you come to the customized freighter here, and you're going to need to make sure you have the frigate fuel 50 tons. It should only cost one, um, salvage frigate module which isn't too difficult to get and now you can start fueling your frigates this stuff it's not too difficult to make uh, you can see i've got other blueprints here and you get those as you send the frigates out on expeditions they'll come back with them as prizes so you can have more efficient ways of creating it and realistically it only really changes how much you can store rather than how much you make the uh, the actual price in terms of the resources is about the same anyways so you're going to want to make sure you've got some of that in addition to send them out you're also going to need some of these screens that we can see just here these are called fleet command terminals i find five to be enough you can have more if you want to and um, we've already been through how we've built the freighter base so again if you guys want that that'll be in the playlist once you have all of that set up we can now 
Well, we've got two things we can inter interact with, but I think this is probably the one that people want to see. This is going to be where we can actually start sending frigates out on the expeditions. So as you can see, we've got lots of different expeditions that we can go on, and they all have different symbols. There's one symbol not there though, which is the combat one, which looks a bit more like a gun pistol. But let's take this industrial one here as an example. You can see that it's got a two star rating. Now to get your first um, star added to this, you will need to add 20 to the rating here. Now it's gonna be difficult for me to get 20, uh, let me see, we've got, a, we've got one here that's 20. Because we've upgraded the, the frigate so much, it's actually going to give us more than 20, so we're actually adding 36. But it should be illustrate here enough that if you add 20, you get the second star, and that has us matching the difficulty. Now, you don't want to match it, you want to go over it. In fact, I would say um, it's there's no reason not to go as far as going all the way up to five stars if you have the capacity for it. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick my next lowest mining craft. It's important to note that I'm starting from the bottom here because I want them to level up. The more expeditions they go on, the more they will level up. If you want to level more up, like let's say you don't mind going up all the way to five stars, you can put a couple on this and that will just ensure that you're going to get the most rewards out of it. Lastly then, if this is not already a combat mission, I find it a good idea to put a combat class ship on, which is why um, I like to have extra combat ships. I'm going to go through how many of each type of ship I like to have in a second. In fact, we'll probably put, if it would have got some there, yeah. so we'll put this, put this brand new ship on there. And that's because each of the missions, when you send them out for the expeditions, they have a random chance to get some like surprise encounters and it's just good to have something there that can fight that off. So it's worth noting that we can have a total of, and I don't know if we can show this on the managed fleet, let's see if it shows you. So in the managed fleet, it doesn't tell us, but we can have a total of 30 ships. Now, because I don't really like using the support class ship because fuel just really isn't that much of a problem. As you can see, this mission is just gonna cost me 50 tons and it's real easy to get it. So I'm really not too worried about the fuel, much more bothered about having the correct ships for the correct task. So we have 30 slots and there are four ships that I like to have. So therefore I have seven of each. And because I like to send extra combat ships out, I use the last two for combat ships. So I have seven of each and then nine of the combat ship specifically. Okay then, so once you've sent your ships out on the expeditions, on the expeditions screen, you'll see that we have a duration time. This is how long it's going to take for the expedition to finish. Once that time has elapsed and that is real time. So it seems to be linked to like a game server or something. You can't like clock switch it or anything like this. You will physically have to wait that amount of time. There doesn't seem to be any way we can circumvent this. You'll see that we get the icon come up over at the fleet command station where we can debrief the commander. Obviously, I've already sent this one out just so I can show you guys how this works. We can then skip through all of the events that happened. You can see all the rewards we're going to be getting. Um, you get a lot of credits and this kind of stuff. Lots of um, good rewards from this. You'll get resources. I believe you can also get the dream aerial, which is for like a mission later on. I haven't gotten that far yet, but yeah, I think that's pretty much how everything works. We get a total of five expeditions per day. So the five that you see there, they're not going to come back once they're finished. Obviously, he still gets them even though you have them in progress. So if you have one, because I think they can take up to like 29 hours, but if you have a particularly long one, it may well be worth having an extra one. But in general, five is enough. We could do five. You can only do five per day. And that is going to level up your frigates. They'll come back with rewards. And I hope that helps you out.